hata tuhatuendangi ati huyo kijana ah uh -uh, we don't even go there i just want this girl to go back to school and then i distribute sanitary towels as important yes very very important mm -hmm. because i've realized it's a very it's a commodity that is very important na wengine wao hawapati especially when i go to kajiado that that the, the, the sanitary towels are Nikitu yenye watu wanangojea. Yes, then that, there, yeah. the challenge is, I'm looking at the teenage mothers and the young girls. And then, I get to a place where I get a 17-year-old who is somebody's wife, na hana income. So, anataka sanitary towels. Okay. Yes. I, I'm confused. If you're somebody's wife, why is there no support from the person that they have been married off to? Uh, because probably the family is poor. Oh. Yes, the families are poor, and the, I go to the deeper parts of Kajiado. Mm -hmm. Kule bado manyata, bado nizile zenye, uh, unangele unasema, hii mumba inalala watu. But they are very comfortable, by the way, because that is their culture. Mm -hmm. But again, the, 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 the poverty level mm -hmm. makes that these children, uh, and even the young wives, I go there and my heart bleeds because, like the last time I went there, I encountered a, a 17 year old girl who is a widow. And then my shame is Mama. <sighs> yeah, see, ni widow. And I understand they don't remarry. Okay, I. I yes. what, what do you mean they don't remarry? Like, umolewa even as Nimesha? Nimesha. Nambiwa hawaja hawakubaliwi. So unangalia mtoto ni wa miaka kumi na saba, ana kufiwa, akona watoto watatu, anaelekea wapi. My twist. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. This is the last photo. What are we looking at here? Uh, this, uh, we had uh, gotten visitors from um, Nairobi Karen Lions Group. Mm -hmm. They had come to visit us during this time of COVID. You can see it's me and them. Mm -hmm. They are not interacting with the children because we have to take those measures. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this one, uh, the, the, the lady uh, who is next to me mm -hmm. is a gender, CEO, gender uh, officer in Kajiado, mm -hmm. the office that really helps me to rescue the girls. And she had come to see what I do and bring a child that they had rescued a girl and the child was left at home. So they were bringing the child to the mother. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's called Eve Marin. She's a very good uh, supporter and are uh, fighting for, fighting against FGM and Ari marriage in their community. It surprises me that we're still talking about FGM in 2020. But it's very lampant there. You see, it's, it's a culture. So unless something is done to deal with this culture completely, it will still continue. And then, now, let's take a case like uh, a girl is married when she's 14 years. She went through FGM. So when she gets her children, there's no other song she knows. This is what, how things are done. Mm -hmm. And my daughter needs to go through. So unless some education is done, sana, 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 and... Anyway, I don't know how this culture will be defeated, but I believe, especially the FGM and the early marriage, that is something that needs to be defeated yesterday. I have so many things to say, but I don't really think my opinion counts today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I will ask you is, where are you based physically? Uh, we're based in Embakasi, sub-county. Mm -hmm a place uh, called Nazra Gardens Estate. No, have you ever heard of Mama Lucy? Yeah, where Mama Lucy sits, the same estate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's behind a Naiva supermarket that is uh, along that road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where we are. Okay. Yeah. Maybe in conclusion, I would like you, you mentioned mental health and all that. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, I want to ask specific to COVID-19 because they think this information would be beneficial for us all. Mm -hmm. What would you advise people at home? People, there's so many things that we have lost. Mm -hmm. We have an entire industry, the hospitality industry is almost at its knees, you know, because 
COVID-19. We are tired, by the way, anyway, mm -hmm. because of COVID-19. We, we have people losing jobs in the multitudes. We have people who are angry, you know. We have people who are confused. We have people who don't even think the disease exists. There's a lot going on. But what would you tell someone who, who has been yanked yani, from either their primary source of income or not even money, their mental health is just not okay. Mm -hmm. They're either having panic attacks, anxiety attacks, or they're depressed. You want to wake up in the morning, but you just want to stay in bed also. It's just an oxymoron. So how would you speak life into a person like this? Um, I think the most important thing is to encourage people not to lose hope because there's still life there's uh it's a lot of there's a lot of challenges and i like what you say about the anxiety because when you have anxiety there's so much you cannot do you have, you have fear and it's i think we need to encourage people and i tell people reach out reach out don't keep quiet don't stay in that bed wake up and try to you can't just lack somebody to talk to. Don't just sit there and think about COVID-19. Sometimes I don't want to think about it. And I know it's there. It's there. I, I, I don't like uh, the way people are taking it casually. But we need to know that COVID-19 is there. But we have hope. Those of us who are, are Christians, we are praying that God is going to uh, remove this uh, calamity in the world. Because it's not only in Kenya. But the most important thing is to give people hope. If you realize that there's somebody next to you who is needy, especially sharing, because I can tell you as uh, somebody who has been on the ground, most of the families are going without food because the breadwinner lost the job, probably na kahepa, kwa sababu wa meona watoto wako wengi wanalia njaya, akasema haka inaawa watoto, akachia mama watoto. Ama vice versa mama akachia mzee watoto. So it's about time where we reach out. Even us who are able, we reach out and know how is my neighbor faring on. If you can encourage somebody, just give them hope. If you have something that you can be able to give, give, let them have a meal that time. These are not the times we, are, we go to a, to a supermarket, shop, 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 and then we go and arrange them in our shelves. No. It's a time we need to do that mm -hmm. and I am buying because I know there is a needy person somewhere. Probably even before I leave the supermarket, I need to bless somebody. Not because you know them, but because probably, na unajua mwanadamu utaelekezwa tuko utaona tu mtu uone hapa kuna kashida fulani. But let's give hope. Let's talk I, I use every forum. Like now, I have started a mentorship program in Kajiado. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm mentoring 100 girls and 100 boys. Mm -hmm. That is now what, something that is, is going to be consistent. Zamani nilikuwa naenda na peana, na we have a talk, we encourage the girls. But we realized uh, we need to work with these girls. I also have a mentorship program in Nairobi for teenage mothers. Mm -hmm. So if you have a chance whereby you can be able to give what you have, because I believe everybody has love, and that if you give anybody love, I think you have now opened a way whereby you are going to deal with them and work with them. So let's purpose to share, to give, to hold somebody's hand. Even if you have nothing to give as intangible, you have love, you can give somebody hope. Unaambia COVID iko, sengine tunaambiwa iko hapa kukaa lakini mimi ndiyo nakaa zaidi yake. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eh unamwambia hii kitu ijakuja kutumaliza because ukisema itakumaliza now you will go down. You have to encourage yourself and wake up hata kama una mahali pa kwenda amka oga ka kwa nyumba. Panguza ukuta hata kama ulipanguza jana so that you do not have time to think about what is going on. It's not easy for somebody who has lost a job. And this is why I'm saying I wish everybody is able to reach out and just speak about it. Because when you speak about it, it doesn't weigh up on you. But manaume ni jasho. Manaume ni jasho. Manaume ni kwa za yangi wananyamaza. Nasema, nende unona sasa inafika mahali. Even domestic violence has become rampant. Because huu unaitisha unga, alafu unaona hakuna pesa, 
na tuna kipawa ya unataka watoto wa kule nini unaanza kufoka na hii sasa stress zimemsonga unakuta sasa it's not the right thing to do but i think we need to have a lot of talks to people so that you can also understand your spouse you can also children should also understand their parents because sometimes mtoto alikuwa anaitisha kitu anapewa sasa hakuna na mtoto wanajua ni lazima ape Mm-hmm. So we need to do a lot of talks. We need to, to encourage people. We need to reach out, especially those of us who are able to do that. But Sasa, again, we have to know that there are also kuna measures in yetuna to na take. Mm-hmm. Because also, najua lazima tufuate sheria. When you're doing these talks, you need to know where you're doing them. You m- let the authorities around you know that I have a mentorship program and this is what I am doing. Ukiambiwa hauwezi kaa na watoto moja kwa sababu ya the social distance, mm. T, chukua 50 leo, chukua 50 kesho. Mm. Suluku umejipanga, umejipanga na mia. Mm. Ukiambiwa ni chini ya hawa, chukua 25. Because you have to purpose to get your target. You have to purpose to touch that life. Sometimes even when you are just walking around, you see people... Like I'll give you a case where I was walking to go to the rescue center. And then I get a lady with three children. Yani akili yangu inaniuliza huyu mama ajui kuna COVID. I was waiting to get to her and muulize maswali kadha. Mm-hmm. But the time I got near her, actually she spoke first. Na mama habari yako mzuri. Na kuomba tu usaidie watoto wangu chakula. Hawa oh. chakula kwa siku mbili. And then I'm like, oh no God, not this in the morning. I was I didn't know what to do. I looked around where I was walking there was no hotel. But number one, these children needed to eat something before we even do anything else. So nikaangalia kando yangu nikaona kuna duka. Nikaenda nikaambia nikaitisha mkate na maziwa. That's what came into my mind. Nikaitisha mkate na maziwa and the children were like jumping kuchukua hiyo mkate. So they sat kwa kasa sasa tukiongea na mama. Now what what now made me feel like I failed? I forgot about the mother because if the children have not eaten the mother has not eaten yet but she was very patient na ananyonyesha very patient kai alingojea kale katotoka alikuwa kadogo of course akenga kange maliza maziwa paketi moja so kalikunywa akamwambia mama ni bebe mama badala ya kubeba kai wakati alioka maziwa kwa mdomo ndio nilijiuliza oh my god i have not given this mama so nikamwitishia then i went uh, i went with her to the rescue center mm-hmm and give her food and told her the next time you want to ukimaliza hii chakula uache watoto kwa nyumba ama uachie jirani kimbia ukuje uchukue chakula the, guess what when i was going back home in the evening this uh, lady from that shop called me akanuza watu watu unawajua nikamwambia hapana now she told me every time you give now we talked akaniambia every time you uh, give them food unakujia bando moja ya unga i was like oh god wow. oh god you have sent an angel so sometimes you just need to reach out sasa unaona kama huyo niliondolewa burden ya unga sasa mimi wacha nitafute mchele sabuni and that lady is very faithful she doesn't she doesn't take advantage because even today we are still in contact alafu sasa mambo ilipopungua kidogo ameanza kutoka anaenda kuosha nguo anakuja kwangu anaosha nguo nampatia kitu kidogo anaoshia watoto nguo kwa rescue center nampatia kitu kidogo ya kwenda kununua mafuta ya stove na nampatia chakula God bless you amen eh. should i say i'm already blessed no no wacha kuongezea zingine hadi mm-hmm. uchanganyikiwe eh mimi nataka kuongezea zingine mm. that when even when i reach out because mm. like when i go to kajiado i reach a uh, a hundred families a hundred families a mm-hmm. hundred boys and a hundred girls for the boys we give them boxers and vests for the girls we give sanitary towels and panties mm-hmm. and soap and sometimes when we are blessed we give them lotion mm-hmm. so we want just to make a uh, a change in their lives so that they can also forget about the marriage life and and now we are actually going to the parents so that we can talk to them i had even forgotten the eh. Anyway, guys, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I think I've exceeded my time a little bit. Please forgive me, but hey, man, you're phenomenal. I'm, I'm glad Thank to have you. met you. Woo! Thank At Red for Facebook, Red for channel, Twitter, hashtag is YNZ Morning. We are asking, this this something about Kuvunja Hadi na Hadi Nibeni. Who talk to us on our socials? You know what to do. Don't go anywhere.